Today we're going to play Rubamazo, the Italian card game that encourages theft. Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Playing Games. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Otherwise, you're just stealing this video. Rubamazo means steal the pile. It's an Italian fishing card game, which is a variation of the epic Italian card game Scopa. Want to learn how to play that? Check it out right here. Rubamazo can be played with two, three, or four players. It's played with an Italian style 40 card deck, like the Sicilian deck. It can also be played with a 52 card poker style deck. Just remove the eights, nines, and tens, and then for dinner, eat fish with melted cheese on top. You monster. The card values are one through 10, represented from high to low, ace through king. So an ace is a one, a two is a two, three, four, five, six, seven, Fonte is eight, Cavallo is nine, and Ray King is 10. As this is a variation of Scopa, the setup is the same. The dealer deals three cards to each player and puts four cards face up in the middle. The player to the right of the dealer begins play. They play one and only one card from their hand. You can take any card from the pot with the same value as the one you've played. However, unlike Scopa, you cannot add the values of the cards in the pot together. This is different from Scopa, so it's one for one. You play one card, you can get one card. On your turn, you must play one and only one card from your hand. If you can't do a pickup, you have to leave a card in the pot. If you can pick up, you take the card out of the pot and put it into a separate pile. That's your collection pile, which will be used to score points in this game. Also, unlike Scopa, suits do not matter in this game. The only points you'll get are the total number of cards you collect at the end of a round. This is not like Scopa, where you need to get coins and Primera and sevens. Your one and only goal is to have the most cards at the end of a round. After all players have played their cards, the dealer deals out three more face down cards and play continues. So it's called Rubamazo. How do you steal these piles? Well, here's how. On your collection pile, you must leave the last card you picked up face up. If on your turn you have a card of the same value as the one shown on your opponent's pile, in this case a five and a five, then you can Ruba the Mazo or steal the pile. You do this by taking your five, placing it on their five. You then take those cards and add them to your pile, leaving your last played card on top. Here's another example. The opponent's last pickup was a three and that card is shown on top of their pile. In my hand, I have a three of clubs. Instead of playing this card to the pot, I use it to play upon their deck and steal their pile. I take their whole pile and put it on top of mine, placing my thief card, in this case, the three of clubs on top of the pile. My turn is done. And should the opponent have another three on their turn, they could steal back their pile and all of the cards I've collected as well. If you can mentally keep track of the cards that were played, you'll be playing Rubamazo at an advantage. For example, if you know that two sixes have already been played, then you know it's safe to play these final two sixes and no one can steal your pile. Scoring, count up your cards. Whoever has the most cards wins the round. What's different about Rubamazo than Scopa is there's no Scopa here, so there is no extra point for sweeping the table. You don't have to worry about as much at the end. You don't have to count the amount of diamonds, the amount of cards, the amount of aces or sevens or whatever it is. You just count the amount of cards you have, or you can even just look at the widths of the decks and say, well, okay, you clearly won. The other fun thing about this game is it's fast and just when you think you've got it won, somebody comes around and steals your whole pile. And that's the end. So you, you're gonna wanna play again and get revenge. There are lots of regional rules. It's Italian, there's never just one way to do anything. Do you have different rules? Drop them in the comments. One quick piece of advice, the more players you have, the more fun it gets. So make sure to gather up your friends and family and give it a try. You'll love the highs and the lows. Just don't team up against one player. There's honor amongst thieves. Did you like this video? Let me know if I got something wrong or if you play it differently or just wanna say hi. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help keep this alive. Also help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating. You are great. What's this card? Ah, uh, it's the Queen of Likes card. The only thing she'll steal is your heart.